Good job. I don't even have to cook. Really? <laughs> well, that's right. You're a cook, huh? I can cook a little a basic cooking. Oh, basic cooking. I don't do anything fancy. Oh, I see. Like Okay, we have Daniel here. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Doing all right. Great. I haven't seen Daniel in a little while, right? I think it's been about a month. Yeah, about almost six weeks, actually. Okay. Daniel. Yeah. Okay. But he's doing really well. Let me show you the um, the ulcer that we were working on before. It's really gotten a lot better. He's got a new brace to take pressure off this area. And he's still working part-time, right? He's still busy oh, yeah. doing a lot of stuff, but it's really working... Well, I need to clean out all of this and let it bleed more today and hopefully it will close down more but it's about half the size. So I'll show you the previous um, uh, ulcer and show you how, how uh, well it's uh, doing right now. Okay. Also he has these calluses that are really really thick so we're gonna take care of some of these. We don't want any trouble with these um, because we don't want this break down and open up and cause ulcers. So. So how, how you been? So tell me about your work. I know you're going different places and helping patients, right? You tell well, me. Um, I don't have to do any personal care, uh -huh. uh, which I used to do, uh, but I, I will do it if I have to, but uh -huh. mostly I keep them company and uh, light housekeeping chores. Oh, really? Oh, so you, you talk to them and yes. you encourage them and things like that? That's it. Oh, wow. That sounds like a good job. I don't even have to cook. Really? <laughs> well, that's right. You're a cook, huh? I can cook a little a basic cooking. Oh, basic cooking. I don't do anything fancy. Oh, I see. Like you're used to. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so what facilities do you go to? Uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, out of Cambrian Healthcare. Uh huh. Home care. Oh, uh, home care. Uh huh. That's what I do. Yeah. Uh huh. So you you go to people's homes then? Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, that's very good. Like, how many homes do you go like a, a week? Let me see now. I got. Uh, I have four clients right now. Oh, okay. They need care like every day, or? Uh, the two, the two of them are two days a week. Oh, two days a week. Okay. And the other two are one day a week. Oh, I see. Okay. And so I'm then... usually off on Wednesdays and weekends. Oh, I see. Okay. That's why you're here today. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> Very good. So this looks good. Nothing open. I just want to make sure that uh, none of these will become ulcerated because we don't need any trouble. Okay, so that one looks pretty good. There was a little ulcer here, as you can see, it's almost healed. This one looks good too. So I created a little, um, like a, a brace, like a pad for him to take pressure off and that seems to be working. Yes. Okay, so that's working well. So this is, actually this is closed. Wow, this looks good. They were supposed to open, but now it looks really good, Daniel. So keep keep That's up good. with yeah keep up with the, using the little pad that I made for you. So just taking the pressure off like this really makes a big difference because that's that's where it kind of rubs together and create the uh, ulcer. So that's really good that this is almost closed. Looking really really good. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that looks really good. Okay. You see that, Daniel? It looks good. I've been trying good. not to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is close, you see? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It was open when I first saw him, but it's doing really well. I'm very happy for him. And here's another one that we need to kind of work on here. Make sure that none of these are problematic. So what kind of challenges these patients have? Well, I work strictly with HIV clients. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. And, uh, okay. I guess the best uh, thing to do is to keep them healthy. Uh, uh -huh. And that means that I have to go in there completely, right now, completely uh, without, um, like a cold. I wouldn't go in if I had a cold or uh -huh. cancer. Right, right. Because if they get it, then they That's die. a big problem, huh? Yeah. The T cell counts are extremely low. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, um... Ugh, I have a couple of really sick ones. Oh, is that right? So you have to like totally gear up, like uh, put all kinds of protections before you get in there. No, um, not not really. No. Mm -hmm. But you wear your mask. mask and gloves. Uh, mask and gloves. Okay. Okay. Make sure you you don't have anything. You know, you you, you don't want to give anything to them, right? Exactly. 
Okay. Very good. And if they got the COVID, oh my God, they would be dead shortly. Oh, is that right? Oh boy. Yeah. Are they all in the same facility, or they're, oh, they're no, no, different houses. They're different homes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we don't hear a lot about HIV patients anymore. You know, we used to. I but know. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure there are, but we don't. We don't. Uh, I don't see a lot of them, and I don't. It's strange how that disease works. Sometimes, uh, people just live almost a normal life. Uh huh. And then uh, sometimes they're trying to live their life, and uh, they get sick out of the blue. Yeah. This looks really good too. There's no opening here. Just wanted to make sure that. Um, so it looks good. The skin looks all good. There's nothing open. So this area looks really good as well. So I'm happy nothing's open so far. This part we're gonna clean up a little bit on this foot. As you can see, I'm just going to raise the bed a little bit. We're just gonna clean out some of these areas and then we're gonna make it bleed again so they'll get smaller. As you can see, I think the, you, you're using the, just the brace at, at, at home, the yeah. brace that you, we made for you? Exactly. Uh -huh. And uh, That's not easy to walk with that thing, huh? It's very hard. Yeah, yeah. I so, don't even wear it at the grocery store because it sounds like a horse coming. Really? The aisle, clunk, clunk, clunk. Oh, is that right? It's really loud? Huge. It's so huge and it's like, as I said, it looked like Herman Munster's boot. Is that right? Yeah. So you just uh, use it when you, when you do that, and you got you got brand new shoes too, right? The the I'll shoes. I have those on all the time. Those those shoes are helpful. Very helpful. Yeah, I, those. I really can't walk too well without them, uh -huh. even on the carpet. Yeah, those are really good shoes that he's got, and it's a uh, uh, we call it the extra depth shoes, uh, which. Um, has a lot of room for this to go in and not exactly, putting yeah. pressure on certain areas, right? Thank God I have neuropathy or I'll be on the ceiling by now. Right, right. You, you, it's a good thing that you don't have sensation, but it's actually a bad thing that you don't have sensation too, yeah. you know? It's like a yeah. double-edged sword, you know? So right now what I'm doing is I'm scraping the sides to let it bleed and clean out the edges so it would shrink down and then close down the wound a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing right now. can see this part needs to seal over so I'm just cleaning it out really good to let it bleed some more as you can see he's got this arch that's completely flattened down and then that prominent bone is causing this to come so taking the pressure off these areas and closing it is very important so but he's doing a great job of and taking no, care of this I never had flat feet except uh about 10 years ago, uh -huh. uh, I literally woke up one morning and my foot was flat. Was that right? And I didn't know it was flat until I tried to put on some boots. Uh -huh. And it didn't, it didn't feel right. I thought, what the heck is going on here? Uh -huh. It happened to both feet at the same time? And not the same time, no. This one first? Let me see. Yeah, because the other side is a little bit flat too. Yeah, I think this one first and then that one. Right, right. Yeah, it's bleeding well now, as you can see. So it's doing great. So I think we need to keep working on it. We hope to see him a little bit more often, maybe every couple of weeks to... I'm going to try. Yeah, this. yeah, he had a little tramp station problem to get yeah. to us, so... Okay, but it looks good. I'm gonna put some um, pad around it. I'm gonna put some cream and then a uh, uh, good uh, dressing on it. And so that's it today, and he's doing great, and hope to close this uh, soon.